Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uninstall iCloud in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So first thing you do is go ahead and go to Start, and you can go to Settings. I want to get you there, you'll see Apps. So right now we just installed the program called iCloud that's been installed in the past right here. It tells us that it's right here, but I actually want to check to be sure something right here. I'm going to go ahead and go to Control Panel, and I'm going to go to Programs, Programs and Features. And you see iCloud got installed here. So, depending on here, I'm not sure if these programs right here called additional Apple application supports and Bungar and stuff got installed with this or it came from pretty much from iTunes installed from the past. But regardless, I'll be showing you how to uninstall them. So here's iCloud right here. It's not letting us to uninstall it right now. Let's go ahead and press the options where it says modify instead. Out of coincidence, here it is saying that you can modify that allows you to remove it. So we'll press next. And it tells us, do you want to completely remove the iCloud for Windows? We're going to go ahead and press yes. And I'll take a little bit, a few minutes for it to do its work. Let's continue. And you'll probably be prompted for this. Go ahead and press yes. And it says it's finished. Now I'm not sure again if this program came in this list. I can't really show the exact if it was installed from here from iTunes from a past video I made or if it actually just needed these programs. It probably just needs the Apple application support and Bungar. I wouldn't doubt it related to it and these programs that came with it. So in case it did, we're going to go ahead and uninstall the additional programs from Apple also. So let's uninstall the Apple application support. And you'll probably be prompted for this. Go ahead and press yes. Again, you have to probably have to go to the bottom for it to continue. It will just continue. Windows likes to get a little error on there without popping up in front. And that one's pretty much gone. We're going to go ahead and open up the next program right here. And get it uninstalled. Again, here's the bottom. You'll choose to uninstall and press yes. And here's the file being uninstalled. Depending on my being programs in background, here it is. Go ahead and press automatically close the applications. Had to close the Windows Explorer, so technically it's still there. And it pretty much, we're might gonna have to go back to the same programs to uninstall again. So let's go ahead and go to settings and apps again. And let's continue scrolling down. Here's the Apple software update. Let's go ahead and press uninstall that one and press yes. So that one's pretty much been uninstalled. The next one will be Bungar. Now if you have these problems and you're just not be able to find it right here, I'm going to show you again how to get to the control panel. You'll go to start and type in control. And go to search bar 2, same place. And you'll go to programs, programs and features. And here would be one of the Apple products. This one kind of tells you more in detail about the publisher. And you'll select it and you'll probably double tap it or press the uninstall options. And you'll probably be prompted, go ahead and press yes. And again, press yes. And it'll allow you to uninstall it. I just put this on this option right here to underneath the programs and features from underneath control panel because sometimes these programs don't like to be shown underneath the regular settings out here underneath the apps. I don't know what's up with Windows 10, so they like to get that issue sometimes. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys, if you just like this video then hit that button, but if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description, and for the rest I will see you on the next video.